morning already. Suppose I really did go to the woodland, didn't I? I don't know what to think of all that, but... Both Rosemarine and the old hag, neither were lying, it seems. I'll have to pull myself together. It's best I head out to work for now. I'll lose my wits if I keep. Huh? Rosemarine and Flock. What are they doing out there? Happens if I get all the fireflies. Yeah, that's a unicorn. Wait a minute. I think the yeah, the horn's getting bigger. You are always making merry, huh? Good morning. Oh, good morning, Elise. Good morning to you too, Flock. I picked some mushrooms this morning, Elise. We can have them for breakfast. Hey, Rosemarine. You put Flock away in the granary last night, right? Of course. I think he's taken a liking to it too. I always leave the door a little ajar just in case. Is that so? Is everything alright, Elise? You seemed to be on the edge last night, too. It's nothing, Rosemarine. I had strange dreams at all. I know you went to the woods, Elise. Hmm? You don't have to tell me about it, but... You know now, don't you, that I'm speaking the truth? Elise. Anyhow, come along. Let's head to work. Taking me to town? We have to stick to our story, don't we? Come now, let's head to town. Ah, oh, wait for me, Elise. Please, I was wondering. And please don't get angry with me. Out with it, Rosemarine. I was looking around and I found an old blanket for Flock. What blanket? Uh, the one you had tucked away in the pantry? Oh, that's fine. I was going to use it as a dust rag anyhow. Thought I'd be mad about that. Oh, I didn't mean... You'll live here now, Rosamarine. You're so fond of that goat, too. There's not much I can do about it, even if I wanted to. Oh, Elise. It's not that big of a deal, for goodness sake. be a good boy now, Flock. We'll be back later. How come the goat likes it so much? It doesn't seem to be fond of me. Oh, it's a little embarrassing, but I made it a habit to carry food for him in my pockets, you see. You bribe him, that's it? Oh, I can't help myself, Elise. So the thing moved. Uh 
huh? Alright, let's go. Best I come back another time. I still can't make sense of all that. Just to give it some thought later. Oh, like Granny's outside. Oh, I've heard all about you from Lepkachin. It's a pleasure to meet you, Rosemarine. Ah, thank you. You ought to come by later. I'll keep a couple of loaves for you. Oh, you don't have to, Granny, Gretel. Oh, yes I do, Elise. Thank you so much. Oh, you're the sweetest little thing, aren't you? Uh, I... I'll drop by later, then. Don't work yourself into the ground, you hear? Where's everyone? Oh, do folks usually gather here? I wonder if something's happened. Come now, Rosemary, and we must find out what's going on. Ah, yes. Hey, Rosemarine. Don't you ever tire of wearing those shoes? My clogs? Aren't they heavy? Oh, not at all. You'll be surprised. Would you like to try them on? Me? Why not? They're really quite convenient. You can't feel the ground as you walk. As if I'd be putting these away for some wooden clogs. I can get you a red pair. Why, you... Oh, Elise! Mr. Eugene's horses got stolen. What? Is this true, Miss Mario? I'm not a liar, Elise. Yes, I'm afraid it's true. Everyone's acting strange, Elise. That's natural, my dear. This isn't something to take lightly. I even heard some folks say they were hag-ridden. Hag-ridden? You shouldn't spread such nonsense about town, Groon. But old Jockin said the horses were stole by the witch. Well, for goodness sake, the poor lad couldn't be more heartbroken. For good reason. Go on now, I'm looking after the children for the time being. Please. I don't want to talk about it, Rosemarine. Oh, but... Rosemarine has no idea what the woodland's like. I can't bring myself to tell her about... all that. I understand, Elise. I didn't mean to pressure you, I'm sorry. That's alright, Rosemarine. I have to keep her out of this as much as possible. It's best we don't wander about for too long. I don't want to have to answer to too many questions in the morning. Hi, ah, Elise. Rosemarine. Good morning, Freya Lepkachin. 
You've heard, I'm assuming, about Mr. Eugene's horses? Oh, it's been awful. Everyone's been on edge. Folks don't know what to do with themselves. For good reason, I'd say, but... Mr. Eugene was so invested in his business, too. Well, Jockin's foolery isn't helping anyone, I can already tell. They were hag-ridden. Something tells me you know what that means. Lipkachin. Ah, oh, of course, it's when... Oh, she wouldn't know Lipkachin. Saved. I suppose not. What way to start the day? I think I'll take a look around town. Better be careful, Elise. Folks are getting rather nervous about this. I get Lepwichin. I'll be careful not to rile them up. Oh, wait, there's that one spot back here. Oh, I wouldn't know about that, Dorothea. Ah, there you are, you do. You can always ask Elise Brunhild. Ask me about what, Miss Dorothea? Oh, but before we do, have you heard Elise? Oh, Mr. Eugene's horses, I know. Ah, oh, the poor lad. I think my father's name is compromised, too. Mr. Bernhard's? Someone put one of his horses' saddles on my father's pigs, Elise. It's a sick joke, that's what it is. Sounds like it, from what I'm hearing. Oh, Elise, you're leaving Kieferberg, aren't you? Maybe one day, Miss Brynhild, but are you? We've been discussing the idea, as a matter of fact. Now, how could this happen to us? Taking Eugene's horses was too cruel. I wonder who could do such a thing. The poor lad was just getting his business started, too. Hard to believe he'd provoked any kind of ill will. I doubt any of our townsfolk could do such a thing. I agree, Henrik. I've heard Elizabeth and goats aren't doing so well either. Alright, well, we'll go have a look. Keep calm when it comes to old Jock and Elise. He's very much convinced this was the witch's doing. This is what we needed, isn't it? Come, Rosemarine, let's go to the stables. Ah, good day. Ah, same thing. Nothing uh, around here. Ought to let them know, oughtn't we, Marilyn? If this is about the horses, it goes further than that, Elise. Overtook Eugene's horses and broke into the pigsty. Took our pig, saddled him like a horse, and locked him in the stables. Can you believe such a thing, Elise? A vile prank, that's what it is. I need folks to know Bernhard had nothing to do with this. Oh, Kieferberg knows you would never do such a thing, Marilyn. Oh, I'm sorry to hear about that. We'll see where it takes us, I suppose. Thank you, lass. What in the Lord's name is going on? There you are, you two. You're not looking so cheerful, Miss Elizabeth. Well, it's difficult to stay cheerful with all these goings-on. It's so unfortunate. You have to wonder who'd do such a thing. Can't have been easy, that's for certain. Elizabeth's goats are feeling ill, too. Oh, your Annie. I'm at such a loss. Feeling ill, Miss Elizabeth? Your milk's giving off this foul smell since yesterday. Your eyes are looking glossy, too. I don't know what to think of it. The only one who could lend me a hand is Eugene, but... I wouldn't want to trouble him, I see. 
It'll be fine, my dear. We'll have a word with Father Hands, alright? Ah, there's that group over there. I'm telling you folks, this can't be good. Clearly can't, oddly. Lad's horse has vanished. You shouldn't believe such nonsense, Miss Oddly. It's far from nonsense, Lass. Those horses were hag ridden. That hardly matters, Oddly. I'd say Eugen having lost his horses is a bigger concern. Oh, well, you folks never take anything seriously. Come, Rosa Marie, and let's go see how Mr. Eugene's doing. Ah, yes. have heard, I'm sure. We have. Though we're trying to figure out what happened. I'm ruined, that's what happened. As I said before, Eugen, we will do all we can to help. We'll gather the lads and send them out to patrol the outskirts. Are we absolutely certain they were stolen? About that, Elise. Those horses were hag-ridden, I tell you. Not this nonsense again. I tell you, lad, there's a witch in Kieferberg. It's still a sad day for Mr. Eugen, old Jockin. This isn't the time. I ask you not to try folks' patience, old Jockin. Or anyone else's, for that matter. But you're no witch, folks. Someone had to do it. No two ways about it. Without as much as a trot or a neigh. All there was when I got here this morning was Bernhard's pig in a saddle. Don't rope me into this, lad. I already told you I had nothing to do with it. Who am I to blame, then, the witch? Let's keep calm now, folks. Can't fault the poor lad for it, can we, folks? Then Guido and I will take a look around the outskirts. I'll go with you, Gustav, and we should ask Eugene if he's... I'll go with you, Gustav, and we should ask Eugene if he'd like to join us, too. Is there any way we can help Mr. Gustav? Keep folks call me, Lace, and go about your day as you normally would. Leave it to us lads, we'll get to the bottom of this. Folks truly are an itch today. Not to be careful with what I say about town. Meet Rosemary in the crossroad. Investigate. Ah, oh, she's not with me anymore. Okay. This. Came to join a search party, I take it. Oh, I don't think I would be of much of help. I was wondering if there was anything I could help with. I appreciate the thought, lass. We're at a bit of a loss, you see. Also, Mr. Heinrich, we can't put our fingers on where to start. And we wouldn't want to search Kieferberg. The best thing we want is to get under folk's skin. I understand. We should search as far and wide as we can, no two ways about it. Even if only a couple of hoofprints, we ought to find something. It'll lord hear you, Heinrich. You don't seem too helpful, Mr. Eugen. Upper stallions don't vanish overnight, lass. Whoever did it knew exactly what they were doing, I'd say. Hmm. 
Anything back here? No. Log. Frightening, isn't it, Elise? What is it, Miss Wilma? The horses, lass, if there truly is a thief on the loose. I'm having Wilma lock every window in my inn tonight. I might even do it myself right now. There's no need to overreact, Miss Wilma. How is it an overreaction? Surely, Elise, I hope you locked your front door this morning. Of course I did, Miss Muriel. Oh, I can only hope... Whoever did this doesn't try to ruin the festival. I wouldn't go that far, Wilma. The fog certainly helped. That being so, Wilhelm, I ought to wonder if... Wouldn't folks hear the trotting? Clever, aren't you? Almost as if you were there yourself. Oh, but what if I was? Let's entertain your silly idea, why don't we? I don't be silly, Elise. I was just jesting. Today isn't the day to rile folks up, you two. Why, I'm doing no such thing, Ludwig. You sure have been riling me up since Sunday. What if I truly were the witch? Come now, lass, there's no need to entertain this nonsense. You're playing with fire here, Miss Bertha. Wouldn't you say? Why, what a horrible thing to say, Elise. It's best to think before you speak, Miss Bertha, lest the witch truly be one of us. That's not funny, lassie. That's a threat. You've had your fun, Elise. You should move along now. You're looking rather lost there, Freya. Ah, oh, Elise, I hadn't seen you there. I can tell. I'm still wondering who could have done such a thing. Are we certain Mr. Eugene didn't simply forget to lock the gate last night? How would you explain the saddled pig then? Right, I'd forgotten about that. That sounds like a tasteless prank, Elise, as sad as it is to say. Oh, if only there was something I could do to make it better. Why don't you make something for Mr. Eugene? Make something? Like what? They're out searching the woods. They'll be hungry later, I'd wager. Oh, Elise, that's such a wonderful idea. I didn't even say anything, Freya. I'll bake everyone a pie. How about that? A lot of pies. In that case, I'll best get to work right away. Eh uh -huh. Where's she at? Ah, oh, there she is. It's you! But pretending not to see me, were you? For goodness sake, Maggie, I don't have time for this. Give me the grape juice, Elise! I didn't have bre breakfast, so... That's it, I'm checking your auntie, you're begging for food again. Oh, oh, but I'm not b begging, Elise. I saw y you have a goat now. Why am I not allowed to have a goat? Golly, Elise, you're dirt poor. 
How would you get, get your hands on a goat? A you? I see, but we have a, a understanding, Elise. I passed the grape juice, or someone's getting an earful. Here you go, you glutton. Dare tell anybody about the Richard Goat, and I swear I'll. Oh boy, oh boy. It, you're so generous, Elise. I can't believe that this is working. Why, you? I would have started blackmailing you a lot sooner if I'd. Out of my sight, Mindy. But bring me some Lepkachin tomorrow, won't you? Go away. Goodness sake. You're going to work me like a donkey at this rate. Ugh, that's kind of expensive. It's like three eats. Three bars of food for that. Around this way. Hi, oh, Elise. Do you know any other ways to tell, I wonder? Tell what, Miss Brunhild? Whether she's having a boy or a girl, Elise, she's been keen on finding out. A little too keen, to be honest. We're making too much of it, Ariani. It's harmless fun, that's all. I did it too when I was expecting Epfel. I can't say fortune-telling is ever a good way to pass one's time. Oh, I would never! Would it count as fortune-telling, Miss Ariani? How doesn't, Elise? Well, that reminds me, Dorothea's done it just recently. Said the water turned out clear, which would mean it's a boy. Your children don't know when to stay put. There's everything up here. Oh, the purse. Ah, there you were, Elise. Goodness graces, Oddly. Miss Oddly insists the horses were hag-ridden, Elise. We've been trying to bring her to reason, but... What reason, lass? Give it a rest, Oddly. Old Jackin's beyond reasoning with everyone can see that but you. You think this is what Mr. Eugene needs right now? Well, the poor lad. This isn't about the lad, Elise. Only it is, Oddly. We ought to respect the lad's feelings here. It's his loss at the end of the day. There's nothing we can do, truth be told. You just have to hope the lads find something. I'll regret being so careless. It's rather strange, I must say. Ah, Elise! Everything alright? Oh, you haven't heard? There was a thick fog about town last night, you see? I didn't notice it either, I have to say. Foggy, is it? I wouldn't have given it much thought, but... It's perfectly possible whoever took Eugene's horses made use of it, you see. You're starting to sound like Miss Oddly, Miss Merchantile. Oh, don't you ever say such a thing again, Elise. It's best I go, Miss Merchantile. You know where to find me should you need me. That said, you'd best keep your distance from Oddly, you hear? I'll jock in too. There's no need to tell us, Miss Merchantile. Make certain you find them, Gustav. Easier said than done, Father. I'm not too confident we'll find them to tell you the truth. Eugene needs our support, folks, no matter the outcome. You won't find a thing, I tell you. The horses we're talking about, they couldn't have flown away. Nonsense, they were hag-ridden. You try to keep calm, old Jockin. Lass is right, old lad. Horses can't fly. Even if we don't find them, there has to be something. You said you weren't confident you'd find them, Mr. Gustav. Thieves don't usually leave their plunder out in the open, do they? You must make every effort to fix this, Gustav. I understand, Father. I don't want to, I don't want to. I'm trying to get an earful, huh? Oh, Elise, what am I to do with him? I don't have time for this, I have to be out there. Jordan and Jacob get to play because they've done their daily reading, FL. Now, if you'd settle down and... 
I don't want to go play, I want to go away. Does Uptal seem to be acting a little strange to you, Miss Dorothea? Because of the goats, Elise. Grun told me Upfield was to lend a hand this morning, but I don't want to. They're ill, Elise. There's blood in their milk. Their eyes are infected. I see. Upfield won't listen to anyone, and poor Grun is so antsy. Jacob's been trying to keep them both calm, but... Let me go, Miss Dorothea. After you do your readings, Upfield, you ought to calm down. <laughs> 